Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so hopefully everybody's watched my previous two videos about the YouTube versus TikTok like press conference. And let's be honest, if you did watch them videos or even if you didn't watch my video and you watched the press conference, we all know who Bryce Hall is now. <laughs> like this kid was so desperate to be the center of attention that, you know, he was just interrupting everybody, like trying to get involved with like everybody's fights and it's like, bro, just I'm right. going after your clouded Honestly, brother next. I KSI wait to can get Miami. it next. Fuck and you. You're irrelevant. You're irrelevant. You're irrelevant. Why would I, I fight you? You want a paycheck. KSI's same. next. Honestly, Shut the Like he is trying so hard. He's trying to get people to hate him so that, you know, when he does have a fight, you know, there's going to be a massive army of people that are tuning in just to basically see him get beaten up. Because <laughs> obviously, you know, that makes sense. That's going to attract more eyes to the fight. But the thing is, is Bryce Hall is not Jake. Like, he's not pulling it off. Like, he's doing it in a way where it's just cringeworthy. And the thing is as well, like, the way this Bryce Hall is acting, like, he has no reason at all to act the way he is, like being as confident as he is. Like, he's got no record to back it up. And obviously, from the sparring footage and everything we've seen, he doesn't deserve any of the confidence that he's giving himself. And the thing is, right, is Bryce trying to be like Jake Paul, right? You've got to remember, when Jake does things that Jake does, people just think, oh, it's just, you know, it's just Jake Paul. Like, just don't worry about it. But when Bryce is doing it, we're all just sat there like, this is cringe. Like, bleh. and obviously, this is what brings us to today's video. Bryce Hall is calling out KSI for a boxing match. Yeah, he's actually calling out JJ after he apparently wins against Austin McBroom. Now, Bryce started all of this by running his mouth at the press conference, calling out JJ right there and then. I'm right. going after your clouded Honestly, brother next. I KSI wait to can get Miami. it next. Deji was there, like, look, I'll fight ya. But then Bryce was like, no, you're relevant. Like, I want to go for your older brother. The thing that's funny is he's talking like he's some sort of like professional boxer. But he just really, really is not a good boxer. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's just quickly take a look at the Bryce Hall and Stromedy fight. So, saw the guy in person and his energy completely changed in person. I would fuck you up. You'll fuck me now? Bro, your energy changed. Like weird shit, bro. My energy changed. Because it's in person. Uh, energy changed real, yeah. real. Someone that wants to appear tough talks like this, going, yeah, I'm going to mess you up and all this. Like, if you actually are, like, tough, like, from my experience, people that are actually hard, they don't talk like this. They just say, right, put the gloves on, and they settle it. People that shout and talk and say, like, I'm going to fuck you up and all this stuff, like, they're nine times out of ten the person that's too scared to have a fight and they think that if they shout and act like the big man you know there's not going to be a fight you know someone's that someone's going to back down and not fight them because they think in their head when they're shouting like all oh, this crap like someone's going to think oh damn this guy's getting serious but in reality it doesn't work like that like people just think you're an idiot okay. you're in a boxing ring and you push someone Settle it in the ring. Putting you to sleep in under three sleep. seconds. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I warned you at Boa. No, yeah, if you're gonna look at me like that, get in this fucking ring and face me like a man. Where was that energy on FaceTime? So, right, so remember when I said Bryce Hall thinks he's an amazing boxer and he's actually terrible? Just watch them. <laughs> look at this. I love this part here. Right? Just look how cringy this is. It's so bad. Look, so this guy is lit he's turned around. He's not even facing Bryce at this point. <laughs> Walks away like, yeah, I just did him, mate. <laughs> I know. You're fighting someone who has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> if he's some mental boxer. Okay. There you go. He's like that. He's cowering, right? And look what happens. All of his guard here is left open. What does Bryce have to do? He just has to do a hook to his body, and then he's probably going to drop. But what does he do? What does Bryce do? He just walks forward. Look. He just goes in for like a clinch, and it's like, you don't know what you're doing. Like, he's... 
Strawberry's body, all of it was open, but he didn't throw one punch. He just decides to walk forward and like go in for a clinch. No. Again, he's fighting someone that's literally spinning around in a circle. Look. No. Spins around. When Stromedy is facing away from him, Bryce Hall misses this right hook. Are you ready? Just watch. Oh, It, like, he literally, he doesn't even have to throw a right hook. It's just sad. Yeah, that's all you've got. You're wearing a head guard, bro. <laughs> and you just got smashed straight across the face, which means you can't, you have no defense ability whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling, like throwing each other into the. Yo, we need more than one, huh? Take his off. Hopefully, you can see what I'm saying. Like, he's acting like he's the big man, and you can clearly see he has no idea what he's doing. Like, he doesn't know how to box. Like, he's literally just like it. It just looks like a beginner. With someone who's never ever, you know, done boxing, it's so bad, and that's why everyone's like cringing out about this Bryce Hall, like acting as if he's like Jake Paul, because at least Jake can actually bang people out. <laughs> For some reason, he now thinks he can pipe up to JJ, and obviously, you know, and obviously JJ's responded to this, but it's all bit, but it's most of it's been on Twitter. So I'm just gonna quickly, so I'm just gonna quickly read out some of the tweets. So. Bryce Hall started this by saying, KSI just said he would F me up in the ring. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't want to ruin the fight you've been dodging with Jake just because you lost to a TikToker. I don't get it where he's coming with the self-confidence with him saying that he would mess him up in the ring because from that sparring footage or whatever that even was, like you can see he doesn't know what he's doing. So I don't know where he's coming. I don't know where this arrogance is coming from. JJ responds to you're literally easy work. Who do you think you're talking to? Bryce Hall responds by saying, You're scared of Jake Paul. You won to Logan by points on a bad call. You're fat. Nobody is scared of you. <laughs> Alright, th the third point is pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, it's it is funny. Oh here we go. And then here's JJ's response to that. JJ says one, I'm not scared. Just busy smashing music, dropping an album and selling out arenas. Literally any chance JJ has to go on about his success, he's going to do it. <laughs> uh, number two, still won and undefeated. Three, we're still F you up easily. You're a Jake Paul wannabe. Go back to throwing it back on TikTok. You can't survive over here. Oh, right. And then Bryce Hall's response is this. No, <laughs> one, you pay your features and you're always the shittiest verse. I know I'm supposed to be going against Bryce Hall and saying now he's a clown, but I do agree with that. Two, undefeated, you haven't fought me. <laughs> Three, try and I'll slap the fuck out of that eight head of yours. And then JJ's just response is, win your fight first, then we'll talk. Yeah, it's like JJ's just there like, shut up, mate. Like, he's not, he's not scared of Bryce and Bryce is just like, it's just embarrassing himself. Right, I'll be completely honest. When I saw that sparring footage, let me just say to you right now, if he fought JJ, JJ would knock him out, like, straight away. Like, there's no competition. And I know I've said before JJ's a bad boxer, but the difference between Bryce Hall and JJ is Bryce Hall is, like, he's just not JJ. JJ's, like, you can see he's a hard guy. Like, he doesn't. he's not a good boxer, but, you know, he would actually throw a hard punch. Bryce Hall, because he's he wouldn't be able to throw anything with any power because he clearly doesn't know what to do. JJ's boxing style is really scruffy, but he obviously knows how to throw a punch, and that's why he did put Logan down in the fight. And, you know, I've said multiple times that if JJ fought somebody that was, an, you know, someone that's actually a good boxer, yes, he would lose. But JJ versus Bryce Hall, nah, mate. There's no arguing. Like, there's, even if you like Bryce Hall, like, I don't even like JJ. And to be honest, I don't really care that much about Bryce Hall. Like, he's not. He doesn't, you know, he's just a troll, isn't he, at the end of the day. But he would never knock out JJ. He, he just wouldn't. So and that's just my two cents on that.
And Bryce Hall has, of course, made a video responding to everybody. Okay, so Bryce Hall's made a whole video on, and he's put it on YouTube, and he's responding to JJ and I think Gib and Deji. Now, I genuinely have not watched this video, so we're going to watch it together real quick. <coughs> so it turns out I can't do that. Right, so I spent hours re reacting to his video, editing it, and I basically ripped this Bryce Hall apart because he was making himself look like such a clown. However, when I was uploading this video to put it onto private, Bryce Hall has copyrighted his video. Now, I'm sorry, when you're having a boxing fight, the main thing that sells a boxing fight is the trash talking, okay? So if you're gonna respond to people, don't copyright it so that other people can't respond. I don't know why it's really rubbed off on me on the wrong way, like, he's basically copyrighted his video so that he can make money off of people responding to him, basically talking crap about him. And basically, I'll be honest, you haven't really missed out on much, so I'm just going to quickly tell you what he said in that video. If you do want to see it, just type in on YouTube Bryce Hall, and it's like the top video that's on his channel. But basically, in a nutshell, what happens is, at the start of it, he cries about Anderson Gibb. <laughs> basically taking the piss out of him for not having a dad. Anderson Gibb uploaded a video called, Found Your Dad. <laughs> Which is funny. It's funny. But this Bryce Hall obviously takes it way too seriously. And, you know, he's acting like Gibb has done something really wrong. And it's like, bro, you are in a boxing match, okay? When people are trash talking in boxing, there is no line. You say whatever you want. It's like a free-for-all. That's what makes boxing talking so good. Because no one has that freedom to talk like that and get away with it. Classic cases, look at Conor McGregor. When Conor McGregor used to trash talk people, he insulted them, he called people out, he said whatever he wanted, and all of that is now legendary. So if you can't hack it, you cannot be fighting. End of story. Honestly, if you just go and watch the video, I swear to God, it is identical to when like Jake Paul responded to H3H3 like four years ago. It's the exact same like immaturity it's just my name with an er at the end it's an ers yeah so that's what i'm sorry it's three letters yeah hey which is one more than two and yeah. not just er yeah so. but like i said if you do want to watch this video just watch it it's basically him saying that everybody's bad and how he's really good and obviously from what we saw earlier he really isn't that great <laughs> so he hasn't really got a leg to stand on all i'm gonna say all i'm gonna say right now to finish up this video is if austin mcbroom cannot stop Bryce Hall. I genuinely hope JJ does get in the ring and stop him. And I will be completely honest with you right now. If KSI was to fight Bryce Hall, there is no doubt in my mind that KSI would beat Bryce Hall. He would do it easily. If this fight did happen between KSI and Bryce Hall, I'm telling you right now for the first time, I would genuinely be Team KSI, which I doubt a lot of you ever thought I'd ever say <laughs> but yeah like i said ksi easily just he walk through bryce hall bryce hall hasn't got anything on jj so yeah that is bryce hall and we have got a lot to hear from him so if i get any updates of course i will let you know i'm sorry this video is late i've just been so busy with everything else and i've been busy with so much stuff i've got so many videos planned and i'm waiting till this friday because this friday is the last ever day i'll be working my full-time job which means i'll be able to commit to you full time which means videos i can upload pretty much daily so <laughs> if you want to see that and if you've only just stumbled across this channel Make sure you subscribe because this channel is going to get bigger and bigger every single day. It's going to go crazy. But again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments down below who you'd be, Team Bryce Hall or Team KSI. Like I said, I would actually be Team KSI for this. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!